Hello, this is Jabari from b and and today I'll be sharing five tips to help you edit faster in DaVinci Resolve. For those who are unfamiliar, DaVinci Resolve is a video editing program made by Blackmagic Design. It comes in two variations, a free version called DaVinci Resolve and a paid version called DaVinci Resolve Studio. Most features, including all the tips that we discussed today, are available in the free version of the application. The paid version focuses on features that professionals need for higher-end production, such as resolutions higher than UHD 4K, raw workflows, and premium effects like noise reduction. DaVinci Resolve has always been popular amongst colorists for its stellar color grading tools, but in recent years, it's become increasingly popular with editors. With that out of the way, let's get into some speedy workflow tips. The first tip is to organize your media. This step is often skipped by beginners because it's not the most flashy or fun aspect of video editing. However, it's a crucial step in any video editing workflow. First, access the Media tab at the bottom of the page, or pressing Shift-2. In the upper left corner, you'll have access to any drives or external media connected to your computer. Let's say you want to keep your footage organized in folders in the media pool. Drag the folders to the master bin to automatically create bins that match your folder structure. Now that your footage is in your project, you can add metadata. Metadata are essentially notes that are embedded in the video to make it easier to find or work with your videos when editing. There are over a hundred categories of metadata tags that you can add ranging from scene and take number to camera model and picture profile. When editing on the cut or editing page, you can filter clips by their metadata, making it super fast to find exactly the clip you're looking for. These pointers barely scratch the surface of what is possible within the media tab. But the bottom line is, the larger and more complex your projects become, the more important it is to organize your footage. Next up, create a proxy workflow. It seems like every year, more and more cameras feature higher resolution, faster frame rates, and raw capabilities. Unfortunately, computers can become painfully slow. They're not powerful enough to keep up with the demands of new camera file types. Thankfully, DaVinci Resolve 18 can generate proxies. A proxy is a small duplicate of your original footage that is easier for your computer to process. To create a proxy, you'll need to open Blackmagic Proxy Generator. Select the proxy format, then drag the folder with the clips into the program. Once you generate proxies, you can choose when and where you want to use the proxies in Resolve. For example, on the editing page, you usually want to have proxies. Having faster playback will make it easier to make edits and see if your video flows the way you like it to. On the color page, however, you usually want to use the original media if possible. This is because proxies may not have as much flexibility as the original clips for color grading. No matter how you choose to use your proxy, the software knows to use the original footage when it's time to export your video to get the best results possible. In an ideal world, we would all edit from computers powerful enough to edit the original footage in real time. But in the real world, most editors can't afford to upgrade their computer every time a new camera comes out. Proxies empower editors to work quickly and efficiently using affordable equipment. Now that we've got all our footage organized and generated proxies, it's time to address another time saver, keyboard shortcuts. Every program has some form of keyboard shortcuts, whether it's Google Chrome, Microsoft Word, and of course, DaVinci Resolve. Some keyboard shortcuts are universal, such as Control or Command C for copy or Command V for paste. Others are more unique to specialized programs. In DaVinci Resolve, Many people overlook that there's a difference between the delete and backspace button. If you highlight a clip and press backspace, the clip will disappear, leaving a gap where it was on your timeline. However, did you know that if you press delete instead, it will remove the clip and automatically close the gap? Pretty neat, right? One of my favorite shortcuts for DaVinci Resolve is Alt or Option V. Let's say that you make a few adjustments to the zoom, position, and rotation of a clip, and you'd like to replicate that effect on another clip. Instead of inputting all this information manually, you can command copy on the original clip with the desired attributes, 
an option V on the clip or clips that you want to apply them to. This will bring up a menu that will allow you to choose which attributes you'd like to replicate. Once you hit apply, all of your clips will be updated at once. Shortcuts like these are simple and save time on every edit, providing exponential results as you grade longer and more complex videos. For editors that are transferring to DaVinci Resolve from another video editing program, you can even choose to mimic the keyboard shortcuts of other programs. The next tip is for people who use the same footage in multiple projects. DaVinci Resolve has a feature called Power Bins. Power Bins are just like normal bins you create inside of a single project. However, they are accessible to all of your projects. By default, you won't be able to see the Power Bins. To see them, you'll need to go to the View menu and scroll down to where it says Show Power Bins. The power bins will allow you to store clips, graphics, or titles that you need to access in multiple projects. Storing a title graphic in a power bin effectively makes it a template. Simply drag and drop it onto a timeline and update the text parameters as needed. The last tip for today involves DaVinci Resolve's color management color science. DaVinci Resolve is famous for its color grading tools, thus we could not make a video without at least one color grading tip. Under the project settings, there's a menu called color management. If you choose DaVinci YRGB color manage, Resolve can automatically convert log footage to match your output settings. It does this using metadata stored in the video file. Remember from the original uh, first tip? For people that need to work quickly, this will generate near final color grades with very little effort. What if your camera didn't store the picture profile info in the metadata? If you know what the picture profile is, apply it manually. Right click on any clip, scroll down to input color space, select the option that matches your camera and voila, colors instantly managed. Most of the tips mentioned today can be applied to any modern professional video editing software. What sets Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve apart are its focus on media management and color grading. The media tab encourages users to take media management seriously. Those that do will be able to find the right clip, title, or graphic extremely quickly. Moreover, editors who understand how to use metadata and organize their footage will be able to expedite their color grading through DaVinci's color managed workflow. With many features you'd expect to find from Adobe's Creative Cloud and the speed you would expect to find from Final Cut Pro, it's easy to see why DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio are quickly becoming some of the most popular editing platforms around. What's your favorite aspect of DaVinci Resolve? Do you want more Resolve editing tips? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jabari with B&H. Have a wonderful day.